It looks like Uber is diving into data insights. I got this crazy in-app notification in my driver app that took me to crazy data insights in the in the Uber platform. It told me rides, uh, expected rides, and where to find demand locations and neighborhoods that demand is increasing in, the times that these rides were happening, and how much a median a driver earns across all of Pittsburgh, my city. Let me know in the comment section if you guys receive that notification too, because I unfortunately do not have access to any more than what I see in my own driver app. So I'm calling all Uber drivers and even potentially all the Lyft drivers, check your driver apps. Let me know in the comment section if you see what I see as well, which is all these crazy data insights. So to give you an idea of what drivers are making in my city, when I checked the app and I clicked on that, it was it was surprising to me. Drivers were making on median twenty seven dollars an hour in Pittsburgh during coronavirus. <laughs> like that's insane. That's actually something that is higher than what I expected. And I will mention this value includes tips. They did have a stipulation of. 27 per hour median with tips for those of you who don't know anything about mathematics median just means middle of the road uh, So your earnings could be below or even higher than that And this is something that I want to talk about because I did not see the day coming where uber Would give out such information and I think I know why they're doing this Because no one's driving anymore really demand has went down and so has the driver supply because no demand no trips no rides for those of us who are still driving, I mean, there's a there's a virus, there's a viral pandemic going on outside. That's why people don't want to be be driving and risking their health. But for those drivers who are on the cusp of thinking about driving, this is, I think, Uber's strategy into getting those drivers back out onto the roads. Because as you all know, I've said this time and time before, the whole system relies on there being enough drivers on the road to get the fastest possible matchup for any paying customer. Uber can care less if you're driving, how many hours you're driving without a passenger. You know why? Because they're not paying you to be driving out there without a passenger. So they don't care if you're out there for 24 hours a day, 365 days out of the year driving, waiting for rides. They don't care. As long as you're out there with your app turned on, you have the potential to make Uber money. It is not rocket science, guys. It is not rocket science. So, I think this is just part of their strategy into getting uh, some drivers who are eh, maybe, you know, on the cusp of on the fence of driving again back onto the app drivers such as myself, because this whole pandemic started. I have not taken any Uber or Lyft rides at all because I just personally don't want to risk my own health and the health of those around me as a potential spreader of this of this disease. So that's my reasoning. And this is super interesting because, you know, these data insights offer such clues into what's going on in the city. Um, for example, some of the most popular places that I noticed, they, they mentioned three popular locations, which were sort of surprising to me. I actually thought popular locations would have been more towards the suburbs. And the reason why I think that is because of the commute that some essential workers still have, uh, mainly in the suburbs. I figured that, you know, there's a lot of the way the structures work. There's a lot of physicians and, and nurses that live in the suburbs, especially in my city. It might be different for yours, but I know in my city that a lot of the healthcare professionals live out in the suburbs and they require rides into, uh, the city where the hospitals are. And, and, and I was shocked to see that that wasn't, those weren't the areas that were highlighted for most demand. Most of the areas that were highlighted were in fact in the city, which is the strangest thing to me because everything's more tightly packed in the city. Therefore, you would think people would be able to walk around, use a bike, public transportation, those other kind of modes of transport. And you would think people in the suburbs, especially essential workers, where you can't, it's you know really spread out, you can't really walk to work if you live like 30 minutes north of here. Uh, you would think they would utilize 
right here. So that's that's a crazy insight that I noticed in my driver app just today when I opened it up. And again, please let me know in the comment section it, what it shows in your city. Go even a step further. What What is the actual data in your city? Let me know in the comments too. How much are your city's median earnings where your most popular hangouts are? Um, and what times are the best times to drive based on what Uber has given you in the in the driver app and if they haven't given you let me know as well because here at gridwise me and brandon uh we really are curious to see uh exactly what the data shows and we have a follow-up video where we'll go through our data and compare it to the earnings of our gridwise users uh, many of you who know because you're subscribed on this channel one more thing Gridwise, we are now in 41 cities, over 100,000 rideshare drivers using this platform actively monthly. So if you have not yet downloaded Gridwise, it is a free app. It costs you zero. Make sure you take advantage of everything we have to offer by downloading link in the description below. Download Gridwise today for free. Number two, we push out two to four new blog content posts weekly. So again, link in the description below. Make sure you head on over to the blog. Check it out. Tons of resources related to anything in the gig economy. Remember, we're not just for rideshare drivers. We are for all gig workers. Three, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And most importantly, turn on that notification bell because if you do not turn on that notification bell, I guarantee you will not get our alerts that we just uploaded. So make sure you subscribe. We are almost at 800 subscribers. You do not want to miss out on all the new content that Brandon and I will be putting out. And four, you have a great day. And that I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for me. Jay is out.